right, welcome back to Liquid Lunch. It's me, Hugh, with Daniel Katz, and we've got uh, Muna Fikri here, CEO and founder of, I hope I say this right, Muna, Spa Riyadh Asihawal Jamal. Correct, you had it right. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Thank many, you. Many uh, English speakers cannot say it right. Well, I just sounded it out, and I got a little help from you before we uh, came on. So, now uh, let's talk about what this is because uh, it's uh, you have products and services, and you're a spa right Correct. in downtown Toronto. You want to sort of just summarize what the spa is all about? Well, Riyadh Sahawal Jamal is the full uh, concept of Riyadh. Actually, it refers to traditional Moroccan houses. As Siha refers to health. Uh, Wa means and Jamal means beauty. And the whole concept is a lot of spas now that they become uh, having just a fluff and buff, and people would like to uh, have a what? A a, a what? A the fluff and buff fluff service. And buff. Uh, so they, the uh, services are not very in depth and well uh, done. There are a lot of mud practices out there, and unfortunately, there are a lot of carcinogenic ingredients in your cosmetic jars that you're not aware of. Right, I've heard that too, that a lot of the stuff, if you buy commercial products. Yeah, and <laughs> especially over-the-counter products. Yeah, over-the-counter yeah. products over the counter. have like chemicals and stuff that are have been proven to be carcinogenic, right? Correct, correct. And uh, Riyadh Sahawar Jamal, which actually uh, in the spa right now we call Riyadh Spa, uh, just as a short, uh, we found that uh, English speakers have had a, a challenge to actually pronounce the whole thing. I can say Riyadh Spa a lot easier. Yeah. And Riyadh is how Jama refers to Garden House of Health and Beauty. So we, our focus is health, and we wanted to f focus on uh, treating uh, every guest from the inside out. Uh, rather than just uh, putting product over top and not treating the, s the, the every condition from the source. Uh, as you all know that the skin is just the largest organ of the body and it's just like a mirror of the body so it reflects what is going outside internally. So if for example as an instance somebody has acne then must be how they have toxins in the body and that's how it actually breaks out and you start having toxins. Uh, people who are pretty much uh, overweight, they do have toxins in their body and they need to have those toxins drains in the lymph nodes. And this is the reason why uh, those are just as an example, we wanted to uh, actually we establish a menu that has a full range of treatments that uh, diverse m from m uh, mini treatments uh, like maintenance express treatments to corrective treatments because we do believe that not everybody is the same. Some people they just need to maintain and uh, prevent and some people are they already on the corrective stage and they need to correct those conditions uh, not uh, in order to uh, like uh, make sure that their health is well uh, taken care of. Well, it sounds like, uh, I mean, you, you talk about acne as one example. And I just heard a story earlier this week about somebody who, when they were a teenager, they had bad acne, mm -hmm. and the doctor prescribed antibiotics, mm -hmm. and, and, and now their immune system is compromised, and their health is, uh, is compromised as a result. So, and obviously, that's not a very natural approach for dealing with something like acne and what you're talking about the skin show showing our state of health in a sense it's a lot of people think about spas as just a place to go and be beautiful but you're talking about it's really a way for people to actually be healthy from the inside which is going to express and this is why we outside. think a garden house of health and beauty as i emphasize it again because as you said for this uh, person that got this, this uh, prescribed antibiotics uh, l these kind of medications, what they do, they dry up the skin and they do not, they just keep drying up the skin and they thin out the skin that uh, turn to be uh, like uh, contraindications for other treatments to be performed and they're not the really the right way to go. Uh, I just found out that a lot of, there are a lot of, lot of uh, key ingredients that which we use in our uh, skincare line here, such as the Hasul clay and the green clay that we have here. Let's talk about some of these things. Now, which one do yes. you want us to hand? This one? Uh, the green one this and one. the blue one. This one? Yeah. 
Okay, so now these the, products, do you make these products yourself? Actually, I have a lab, uh, I work with a lab, uh, Biochemist in Marrakesh, and we made this line because uh, I found that a lot at the start was only about services. And uh, when the guest comes the first time, we sit down with them and do a whole screen of their uh, health questionnaire and try to find out where they are, what they want to achieve, and how can we assist them with that. But by giving them suggestions of using uh, the convenient, appropriate product that will help them, found out that I was very, very challenged to find a line that is free of chemicals and help them in a natural way, but have that medical scientific background to actually target that specific condition. So that what made up that the, the Riyadh Sahel Jamal skincare line has uh, got birth uh, sooner than uh, we've thought. I had this plan, but I didn't think it ca will come sooner. And I found a, a lot of guests have had a lot of benefits from these products because they're all 100% natural. They have no chemicals at all. They're organic. They're free of parabens, free of uh, synthetic fragrances. We ha they do not have smell. A lot of uh, guests, they or um, consumers, they when they want to buy something, the first thing they do, they open it, they smell it. Well, guess what? Synthetic fragrances are actually not good for the skin. We n we're not meant to have synthetic fragrances in our skin on our skin because. Th this is what triggers allergies. Oh, wait a sec. Now, you're saying these don't have a fragrance, but they must smell like something. These natural are actually smelling, maybe. Clay. They have natural Here, can I smell clay. it? This is natural. It's a different hue. Natural. See? I know, but I want to smell it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can I smell it? Definitely. We do have a, a policy of, uh, like, we, unless you buy the product, you don't open up the product, so for contam non contamination oh, are reasons. These new, okay, I don't need to open it. And that's it okay. But uh, these, uh, like, uh, as an instance, a lot of, I t uh, from my experience, I found out that these clays, uh, a lot of the consumers, they will look at it, they think it's a powder. Well, what am I going to do with the powder? So they ask. But uh, the reason why we don't mix them, we have the rose water lotion toner and the ro uh, orange flower lotion toner is that we give you the tools to mix them instantly prior to use so that we don't have to put preservatives in them so that basically we like you're 100% sure that there is nothing that will have a counter effect down the road. It's like making hot mustard. And every condition like we assess the condition and we see which which um, combination of clays will be appropriate to that skin. For example, as an instant, uh, red clay and white clay, uh, and uh, just a little bit of the Rasul clay, uh, actually does help for a uh, skin that is uh, dull, uh, dehydrated, uh, Asian, versus a, a skin that is pretty much ha need to detoxify, it's uh, clogged, has acne, then what the best thing is to mix the green clay with the Rasul clay because what the Rasul does, it goes into the pores, emulsifies all the debris, and it helps prior to extractions because uh, it melts that debris and it acts as a disincrustation property so that the skin is not damaged and it's, it's purified in a natural way, which is you can see a great benefit from that. Now, I, I'm go I've got to ask you because this, this is a, uh, uh, you're, you're from Morocco originally. Correct. I and am this from Marrakesh. And it's a Moroccan spa and your products, you're working with somebody in Marrakesh to produce the products. We have, I have a love with a biochemist and we work hard. We, we got even the, uh, some like the black Moroccan soap exfoliant. Uh, that is a traditional, uh, a product that it is used in the Moroccan rituals. When you go to the hammam, use it with a kessa glove because it's made of olives. And uh, the olives has a property that is uh, an ingredient called squalene. And squalene is a natural ingredient in our skin. So what it does, it bounds together. 
and it, it helps get rid of that dead skin cells and as you know oil attracts oil mm -hmm. so it doesn't have sodium lauryl sulfate that actually harsh chemicals that are actually used in soaps cleansers in the wide range of cosmetic products out there in the market so we pretty much uh, uh, got the the product the idea but we reformulated it so it complies with the highest standards of the ingredients in the uh, health canada so that everything is well taken care of as we our first goal when we started we wanted to be the advocate of the consumer. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure they're having the right treatments and the right products. And one of the things that in the treatment menu, the treatment menu is, has been the, the, uh, like uh, set based on three criteria. You have many treatments, you have major treatments, and you have packages, and you have series. And we took three things. Uh, first of all, a lot of people do not go to spas because they think spas is a luxury well your health is not a luxury yeah and it's more than beauty it's, it's it health. is more than beauty it is taking care of of yourself because your cells age and your tissues age and you can prevent that you don't need to go to a, uh, to wait till you have to do a plastic surgery there are ways that you can do that and prevent before you get to that stage it will be much better more, more efficient and will cost you less and definitely and the other thing is uh, time a lot of people say well we don't have time i don't have time to go to the spa well if you can go have a coffee somewhere and need to relax for 15 minutes well we have treatments for 15 minutes you can come for a back massage a foot massage you can for a head and neck massage we have packages such as the back tension release package people who sit on the desk all the time they need that kind of touch to, mm -hmm. to energize them and our key thing is uh, we want to contribute to the success of the person if the guest is well taken care of they this will absolutely absolutely reflect on their production they're they going to make be more money they will be more productive they will make more money they will have a happier life they will have a better relationships right. because they will just have a healthy life absolutely now Muna I gotta ask you how did you get into this were you uh, were you uh, do you have this in your family or did you uh, were you doing absolutely this in Morocco Absolutely not this has been something in my blood since I was very little uh, I love what I do I do it with love and I did it because I came out here out to the market because I wanted to save people uh, just to let you know for example there is, uh, there are companies right now, uh, just before I started, I was here in North America and aesthetics is pretty much my hobby since I was very little. I was in Marrakesh and I loved aesthetics and I loved spas and I loved the way things are uh, pretty much offered and tourists when they come and they just love it. And um, my parents are pretty much, my dad is a lawyer, my mom is a doctor, so just want me to go and do a big job like them. And I just love what I love. This is my passion. Mm -hmm. So I decided when I came to Canada that I wanted to pursue my passion and I decided to go to the best schools and take my education to the next level. Uh, as because when I was in Morocco, in Marrakesh, I was going to a business college but my parents said, if you would like to take aesthetics and used to go to European aesthetic school, then you get to do it as your hobby. So I went, I used to go to a side school for aesthetics just as that's my hobby time. And when I came to Canada, as I said, I wanted to have the highest credentials and pursue the highest knowledge. So uh, there is a that school association, uh, which is the most prestigious association worldwide. It's called Sedasco, and it's based in Zurich in Switzerland. And they have 39 schools all over the world. And I've actually been to two of them in Canada. They have only three schools in Canada. And I've been to two of them. And since then, the more I learned, the more I became thirsty for knowledge. And I just kept learning and learning and going to seminars and courses. And I was on planes, on trains, on flights, just chasing this just because I just love it. It's amazing to see somebody who's, uh, you know, knows what they want to do, 
with, in their life and who pursues it and who's actually doing it. So congratulations on doing that. And I'm thinking, Thank you, you said your mom was a doctor? So it, and so she's a healer, obviously, and it, it, look, it sounds to me like even though this is a spa, you're really kind of, you're working to heal well, people. Well, my mom, my mom basically, all she made sure is we have a balanced meal, we get enough protein, enough vegetables, enough fruits, but you know what? That's just a part of it because, yes, you need to have treatments, but you cannot live uh, like and consume junk food and say, well, why do I have acne? Well, obviously, you only eat junk food then and you don't eat healthy and you don't take the vitamins and minerals you need, then you're not going to be healthy. So in when, during the consultation we offer is we try to assist you in every way to choose the right treatment plan for you as long as, uh, as uh, you pretty much willing to invest your time and budget and also follow up our home care uh, su suggestions, so, uh, wh whatever using product, whatever, or uh, basically having a healthy lifestyle, and uh, it starts from there. So the idea is we work out with everybody. There is uh, our niche as uh, women, uh, highly educated women that pretty much from 30s to uh, I could say 50s, and this range of women, they're uh, educated, they have uh, an income, they want to take care of themselves, they're professionals, mm -hmm. they want to look good, they want to be healthy, and uh, they don't mind to make the effort to take that trip to the spa to come treat themselves. But the key point is the menu and the products go hand in hand because they establish a menu that fits the person's lifestyle. Right. So if you cannot come as often to the spa for treatment, we teach you how to use the products at home so that you, uh, our goal is that you get the result. And that is what we want to assist everybody achieve because we don't want any turn anybody because they don't have enough money to afford to come have on spot treatments or somebody who do doesn't have the time. Right. Our goal is to assist you achieve that. And it doesn't matter, so you, you mentioned the target group, uh, but also it, it doesn't matter what culture you come from, right? No, if anybody, it's you've got open these to everybody. Yeah, and yeah. you've got these products that are, I guess, um, based on some traditional Moroccan it's recipes. It's a traditional Moroccan ingredients. Uh, not all of, uh, we have, this is the ergan oil. And ergan oil, it's very, very highly anti-Asian. It comes from ergan nut. And ergan nut, as you see here, it's uh, ergan nut comes from the ergan tree that is only is between Asawir and Agadir cities. And the Berber women, they actually take the nut and they extract it. Now, I want to let you know for a key point because I'm sure you have heard of the Moroccan oil, and now there are other brands coming, a brand coming up. These brands, they have just a little bit of ergan, and they have full of like carcinogenic ingredients. I would suggest, highly suggest, to go and check the list. On top of that, there is a key information that I would like to pass along because a lot of people do not know this. Now, ergan, when they extract the nut, there are two kind of ergan. There is the ergan that is eatable, and there is for cooking and eatable, and there is ergan that is for cosmetics. How is it, what is the difference? The ergan that is for cosmetics, it's extracted with uh, cold pressed, and we are we very fortunate that we did a lot of research to find the best, highest quality of ergan because we have the top layer of ergan. Right. So, there, so the remain, the more you go down, the more there is the remaining layer, and this is not as Good. So if you well, use your products, you're going to get the, the, the high quality, organic, high quality and, cold and not pressed. only that, the, how you could check it out, because even if it's an oil, but if it's cosmetic reasons, you put it on your skin and it's not greasy at all and it doesn't smell. It sips right into your skin. Versus the ergan that is eatable, uh, what they do, they take the nut and they fry it. So it gives more oil and it's cheaper. Well. So, uh, 
and people and most of the grade of ergan that is in Canada, I found out in food health food stores are people go say, well, why? For example, we have this b small bottle is uh, seventy dollars and this is a hundred twenty dollars, and there is a hundred percent concentrated ergan of cosmetic grade, and people come and tell me, well, hey, well, we found ergan with thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars, and these are like the greatest the eatable ergan, and they don't know that the eatable ergan, if you apply to your skin, it causes comedons. It's, it's pretty much comedogenic. It is not proper to use it for your skin. So these are things that are pretty much, I would like to pass the information because one of our mandate is to educate the public and educate the consumers and explain to them that if you were to spend any amount of dollars on our product, you get in 100% concentrated active ingredients that you would not find in any other line. All the product that you would find on the market, they might have five, 10 percent, 15 percent of active ingredients. We have a hundred percent active ingredients in our line. Okay, so Muna. that's great. So people can, um, you write downtown 193 College Street. Correct. So people can, I guess, get in touch with you on the website. They can actually uh, feel free to get in touch with us on the website. Uh, that which is www.riyadspa.ca and that's R as Richard, I as India, A as Amsterdam, D as Donald, S as Sam, P as Peter, A as Amsterdam.ca. And we're going to put that in the credits so people will have no problem. It's just how you say it anyway, riyadspa.ca. So uh, this is great, Muna. Thanks for coming in. And uh, uh, these, I know we're not supposed to smell this stuff, but it looks good enough not just to smell, but to eat. Yeah. Even if it's not... The uh, edible kind, Dan. Okay. But of, I have something that I would like to add up, which is, m will make uh, a big uh, addition to what I said. Uh, we have something that a top of ergan is the cactus anti hydrating anti aging serum. It's uh, from a cactus. Serum. It's pretty much as cactus plus ergan. As cactus and ergan are most highly anti aging ingredients on earth. To get one liter of cactus, you need one ton of cactus. Uh, there are uh, no ingredients that can be as efficient as this, uh, like in terms of anti-aging. And the good news is we have the uh, hydrating anti-aging night cream, which actually has cactus, argan, shea butter, and mango butter. It's absolutely in a matter of week you will start seeing uh, results. And our day cream, it does have aloe vera, ergan, and shea butter. And aloe vera is very healing. And the idea is to protect you from any external effect. While the ergan mud exfoliant, this is the key product. So I want to just let you know that please, please do not ever try to uh, just think of buying a cream and just apply it straight forward. Because a lot of people, they forget that by building a uh, buildup of dead skin cells, they just have a barrier layer that their product is wasted. It's not going anywhere. So you need to hydrate. Like, you need to exfoliate prior to any hydration. And the great three benefits that is on the Argan Mud Exfoliant that is not in any other uh, product, it actually cleanses your skin without any uh, harsh chemicals because of the white clay. It hydrates your, it actually exfoliates your skin because of, made of the nuts of the ergan, and also locks a lot of hydration in your skin. And uh, this is what we, the first product to start using see, prior to any cream. See, I haven't even heard of uh, some of these ingredients, yeah, yeah. Dan, and I don't know where you get a ton of cactus around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, it's good uh, to know. We'll have to, we'll have <laughs> to get And don't all try these. to treat yourself, people. Yeah. See a professional like right. Muna. Muna, thanks for coming in today. Thank okay. you very much. It's been much. great to have you on the show. So, riyadspa.ca is the website. Now, we're going to take a little break. We're going to come back with. If you have any questions, uh, yeah, uh, well they can get in touch with you. Please email us at info at riyadspa.ca. That's info at riyadspa.ca. You can also purchase your products online and book your treatments online, and that's just straight from the website. Fabulous. Thank okay. You Thank you very much for today, and I'm so pleased to be here with you. And I'll be more than happy to assist any person that has any further needs. And also, uh, one thing that we do offer is um, a foot care, medical foot care, because I found a lot of people tend to cover 
uh, when they have uh, nail deficiencies, they cover with the nail polish. And uh, what, what happens, it actually worsens the condition and can lead to infection. And they would go and choose to go to uh, some very low end salons with no hygienic standards. And we're a member of the International Pedicure Association. So we're very keen about uh, like treating people. And it, as, again, it's about health. So you should be healthy before looking to be beautiful but at the end we make sure you're beautiful okay, thank fabulous you okay so we're going to come back with uh angad singh bala director of hermit's house okay. which we've both seen dan a little bit of okay. at least fabulous uh fabulous movie about uh, building a house for uh one of the black panthers that's been in solitary confinement for 40 years we'll be back with angad right after this as liquid lunch continues There's some tension building in the room The chances are you'll tell me that it wasn't you And I heard that it's illegal, the things that you do Saying something, but your lips won't move. Is that too much to ask for? A little something more, a little something. 